Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time since I last filmed a video. I think it's been about two years, so I'm really excited to be back. I have proper lighting and a better camera this time round. So today I'm going to be showing you my spring favourites. So these are a mixture of makeup, hair care and skincare. So I'm just going to go in straight away and get started. So something I've been obsessed with for a really long time are face masks but sheet versions. So this one I picked up in Selfridges about two months ago and I've just repurchased another one because I loved it so much. This is the Star Skin Hydrating Second Skin Face Mask. I really like the formula of these. They're amazing if you're going on a night out and you want your skin to look really beautiful or if you need instant hydration, you simply leave it on and look like a mask killer person for about 15 minutes. I normally leave mine on for about half an hour and then you just peel it off and your skin looks really clear. These are about £8 I think but you can get really really good ones on Amazon as well like from Korea and places like that because it's a massive trend over there at the moment but I absolutely love them for just instant hydration and if you're going to a special event then they're amazing at making your skin look like you've just had a really good facial. So sticking within the skincare theme, the next product that I have just rediscovered that I absolutely adore is the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Overnight Facial. So I pop it on before I go to bed and I like to massage it into my skin. So I take about five or six minutes really massaging it in with my fingers. And then you go to bed and the next morning you wake up and your skin just looks really plump, really radiant. I find that if I have a bit of a breakout or if I've got a little bit of redness on my skin and I put this on it completely disappears the next day like this stuff is just really amazing you can pick this up in space nk i think this is about 43 pounds and like i said before there's only 15 mil in this so it is quite expensive for what you get because i think it is about 43 pounds but it's incredible so my next product is a little bit on the boring side, but it's one that I simply couldn't live without. I started using these again about March time and I just haven't been able to stop since. This is the cheapest product out of all of the ones that I'm mentioning today and a lot of makeup artists use them and this is the Muji Thin Cotton Pack cotton buds, sorry. These are incredible. So I use these a lot in my kit Obviously, I use them on myself every day as well as clients. So basically, they're different to normal cotton buds because they are so thin. I'm just gonna get one out and show you. If you like eyeliner, if you like doing a smoky eye and you really wanna kind of clean everything up, these are so good. So what I do is I, um, so if I'm doing like a, a graphic liner, I'll get one of these, dip it in a little bit of my moisturizer and then I literally just swipe up and it will straighten everything up. So if you're really bad at eyeliner or one eye is always different to the other eye, you need to get these. I think they're about two pounds. You can get them online or in Muji stores, but I absolutely love them. And I think if you started using these, you would never ever go back to normal cotton buds again. I am really big on fragrances. I love Tom Ford fragrance. I love anything with oud in it. I just, I like really strong scents. And I've heard about this ages ago. This has been on the market for a really long time. But this is Molecules and this is O1, which I actually picked up after smelling it on one of my colleagues. This is the travel size, but this is the perfume that you spray it on yourself and you can't smell it, but everyone around you can smell it. However, I can smell this on myself when I spray it and it smells incredible. I can't even describe the smell to you. It's not floral or it's not really that woody either, but it's just really unique. It doesn't smell like anything else that I've ever smelled on the market. And then I've recently also just picked up Molecules O2. So this is O1, which is the best selling one that you can, if you go into Liberties and you ask for it, they'll know what one you mean straight away. But this one, which is number two, I even bought this last week and I'm that much down already. So you can see how much I like it. I I think I actually prefer it to O1 even though I love them both equally. Well, obviously not because this is my favourite. 
Um, again, I would say that this one is slightly lighter than this one. This one is slightly heavier. I would say that this would be a day, I wear this during the day, but for some people perhaps this would be an evening fragrance. I love them both so much. I believe that you can get them from Liberties, you can get them from Cult Beauty as well I think. I think they're cheaper online. Um, I'm not sure where else sells them, but they are available also in Harvey Nichols, definitely. But yeah, I really love these and they're just... They always smell so good. Whenever I wear them, everyone always says to me, what are you wearing? And I don't really get that with any other fragrance, so that's a good sign. <laughs> so now moving on to makeup. The next product that I'm about to talk about, I am absolutely obsessed with. I wear them on a daily basis. I always get compliments whenever I wear them. They smell amazing, and they are the Kylie Lip Kits. I got these when they first launched. I don't actually know how I managed to get them because they sold out within 30 seconds, I think my friend said to me. But I was on the website, ready at like five o'clock, I think it was, had everything in my bag that I wanted, put my details in and off it came. I actually ended up getting two colours out of her line and the first colour I got is called Candy K and this is by far my favourite shade out of the two. It's a really beautiful nude. It reminds me a little bit of MAC Velvet Teddy but it's got more pink in it. Honestly these are incredible. I am so impressed with the formula, how long they wear, like, when you put them on, they're just so smooth. You need one coat and that's it. You know, they just, they are incredible. The next colour is Coco K. This is the least favourite out of the two, just because it is very pink on me when it's on. It's a bit like Angel by MAC, mixed with maybe a, bit, a little bit of Please Me by MAC. Um, I'm going to swatch them on my hand so you can see them now. The lip liners that come with them are really good as well, by the way. Um, I've only got one of them here, but this one is Coco K. And basically the lip liners are exactly the same shade. They're just slightly deeper, I would say. And again, great formula. They go on really nicely. They sharpen easily. And I really, really enjoy using them. So I've just swatched these for you. So Candy K is the top one and Coco K is the bottom one. That is one coat. They are just so smooth, so pigmented. I absolutely adore them and I would definitely repurchase those and I will continue to wear them throughout the summer because they're just so long lasting. So I am a massive fan of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I would still repurchase and buy it over and over again. However, I thought that it was time to maybe mix it up a little bit and try something new. So I decided to take the plunge and buy the Buy Terribly Terribly Densalist Concealer. I've tried the foundation version of this before and really loved it. But I heard such good reviews about this, and it has an eye serum in it as well, which is a bonus. I'm 25 now, I need to start looking after my skin, anti-aging products and all the like. So I decided to get it. I got the shade 3 Natural Beige, and honestly, I think this is my favourite concealer I've ever used. Apart from Clé de Peau, which is the stick concealer that you can only get in like Asia and America. That's really good as well, but this is incredible stuff. It's really, really liquidy. I'm not a massive fan of creamy concealers apart from the one I just mentioned. I like something a little bit more wet to go under my eyes and I find that this really brightens the eyes, keeps my eyes hydrated and it covers so well. I mean, you need a tiny amount of this and it's done. It's got a serum obviously in it, that's a bonus. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this and I would definitely repurchase this. I'm going through it like light speed, but I think this is gonna last me for a while. So my next product only just launched about four days ago, maybe five days ago. This product is the new MAC Contour Kit, which looks like this, and you open it up, and you have a contour shade, a highlight shade, and then underneath, you pull it out, and you get a cream color base. This is so good, seriously. This is my new favorite go-to product. So I got this in the shade medium dark. You can buy these products individually, except the cream color base, which is the one at the bottom. 
I think that medium dark was probably the best shade for me because I like to fake tan a bit and during the summer months when I am more tanned after I go on holiday that this would be better for me so if you're around my kind of colouring and or you like to fake tan then I would definitely recommend medium dark but like I said you can buy these on their own if you didn't want to buy the whole kit and the colours are light sweep which is the highlight shade and then Shadester, which is obviously the contour shade. What I actually like to do with this is I don't actually use Light Sweep as my highlight. What I do is I use, so I'll put my foundation on, I will powder, and then I'll go in with my contour or bronzer. And what I do is I use Shadester first and just apply it with a fluffy brush and just buff it out. And then I go in with the Light Sweep colour, which is this one, and I blend it into it. So basically it blurs everything so it doesn't make your contour look really harsh. There's no kind of sharp lines and it just softens everything and I absolutely love it. And then the shade underneath I'm actually wearing at the moment is the cream colour base. And I really like cream highlighters because they just add a bit of definition to the skin. I think when you're adding texture, it just really makes the skin look beautiful. I think if you're wearing all matte products, it sometimes the skin can look a bit flat. So that's why I like to use a cream highlight and then obviously you can go over with like a, a powder highlighter as well afterwards. But yeah, this launch, these are permanent now and I would definitely go check these out at your local Mac store or counter because they're so good. So I've got quite a lot of makeup for you in this video, but the next product I had to talk about, it's been out for a while now, but I only got on the bandwagon at Christmas, I actually received it for Christmas, and I have used it every single day since. And this is the Becca Jaclyn Hall Highlighter in Champagne Pop, which is this colour here. And honestly, this is by far my favourite highlighter ever. It is incredible. I don't know if they're permanent. I, they are still in Space NK, but I don't know if they're going to be around for a long time, but I need to buy a backup because it is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to swatch it so you can see. You need the tiniest, tiniest bit of this, seriously. It's like the strongest stuff ever. But I don't know if you can see that glow but it is so pretty. It's just so beautiful. And like I said, I've been wearing it every single day. I've been using it on lots of my bridal clients lately and you need to go buy it right now. Please go and buy it right now. Uh, like I said, this is called Champagne Pop. I think it's about 23 pounds and yeah, you need it in your life ASAP. So if I haven't been wearing my Kylie lip kits, the next best thing that I've been reaching for is MAC Whirl Lipstick. This came out about three months ago after the success of the lip liner, after, again, Kylie Jenner, people like that on Instagram, wearing Whirl Lip Liner all over their lips. So MAC brought out the lipstick version. I have it on at the moment. It's just a really nice muted 90s brown with a little bit of pink in it. I absolutely adore it. I'm going to swatch it so you can have a look. It's quite similar to Candy K, but I would say that it has less pink. So I've just swatched it there so you can see above Candy K. It's a matte formula, which I love. Obviously, it's not as matte as the liquid lipsticks because it's a lipstick, but it stays on really well and I find that it wears off really evenly when it's on the lips. Sometimes lipsticks can go a little bit patchy on me and I find that this just wears off really nicely and I absolutely love the colour. It just reminds me of like 90s makeup and obviously that's a massive trend at the moment so I've been wearing this a lot recently as well. So my final product today is actually a hair care item and this is something I've been using for about six months now and I literally couldn't live without it and that is the Orbe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. Like all Orbe products I really love them, I've tried loads of stuff from their range and I always repurchase it because it works for me. My hair is incredibly curly and if anyone in the UK has ever seen 
Tracy Beaker. That is what I looked like when I was 15. What I tend to do is I put two pumps into my hand, massage it into my hands and then run it through my hair after I've had a shower. And then I'll also put it through after I've finished blow drying my hair. And I find that it stops my hair from going frizzy because what a lot of other serums do that I've used and so I'll put them in and then after about 20 minutes I'll go outside and my hair will just turn frizzy again. So I find that this is the only product that has worked for me and I have tried many, many serums over the years. I finally found the one that I love and I couldn't be without it and I think if you have thick hair, frizzy hair, or even if you have fine frizzy hair, this is really good because it doesn't make the hair greasy and it doesn't weigh it down either, which is something that I absolutely hate about serums. So I absolutely love this product. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching my spring favourites video. I have really missed doing videos so much. I'm really happy to be back. I'm going to be doing makeup tutorials, haul videos. If you have any suggestions at all, please comment below. I love reading your comments so much and I have really missed seeing you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.